Quick note, Harry was speaking kind of low throughout the podcast, so I had to increase his volume, so you might hear weird volume shifts going back and forth between us talking, but I tried to clear all of them up, but if you can't hear them, that is why. In this episode, we talk about rap lyrics and wonder where slang comes from, and we also discuss the proper ways to pee, or the various methods that a man can use to pee. Um, so far, we only know one for a woman, maybe two. Enjoy! Everything's okay, I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. Discourse of Human Events, episode 30, maybe 29, who knows, who, who really who, who, who really cares, I mean, the 12 of you will figure it out at some point in time, It's uh, but, uh, we, and he just raised the question, because we were talking about the song Smoke Some Weed, yeah, we were uh, uh, dissecting some by Ice Cube, yes. and the, the lyric were, the whole uh, <laughs> artist of our generation. <laughs> we're trying to decipher his great lyrics of two faux fifth flamers of yeah. what the hell that means. I have no idea what that means. And lyric genius has has taught me that first off, a flamer is a gun, and two faux fifths means four fifths, i.e., forty five millimeter rounds. So, so he has two guns loaded with forty five millimeter rounds. Right, nine millimeter safety always on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, my question was, at what point did the word flamers become guns? Because I remember the... How old is the song, first of all? Uh, early 2000s, probably. Maybe not even that, actually. Uh, smoke some weed. Because I've heard of guns referred to as heaters. Yeah, I've never heard that. flamers. But I've never heard flamers. 2006. Okay, so... But it's like... Kind of recent. Time, so yeah. I don't know. What I was wondering is, at what point does the word flamers or heaters get referred to as gun? Honestly, I think half of the like rap lyrics and ghetto slang does come from rappers needing something to rhyme. Oh, absolutely. They're doing Shakespeare. Some, yeah. You can't blame them for that. Really, Shakespeare. No, I'm just saying. I think that's where those kind of lyrics do come right, from. Right. But okay. So let's, for the sake of argument, assume that the word flamers has never meant a gun before this song. Yeah. Let's assume that. Flamers obviously can refer to as anything. Something on fire, homosexuals. Yeah, I was about to say, that's just what seems weird to use flamer, because so, there's already such a connotation for it. Uh, maybe not in 2006. I think maybe back... 2006, then. people are being called flamers. Okay. All right, anyway. So, at what point... So, the song... Before the song, flamers doesn't mean guns. But now the word flamers means guns. But I've never used. I've never heard anybody use it though. But, but I can see it? people That's hearing it a lot and using at it. At what point does someone say this is a flamer? Does someone ask, oh, "What the fuck does flamer mean?" Like, or is it a group of like gang members? Like, yeah, man, I got my fucking full fifth flamers. And like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, members are like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" <laughs> I don't know. Well, There's I think guys. if you're in that same group, you kind of just know what they're That's talking what I mean. about. Do they have a committee? Do they vote? <laughs> Well, okay, it probably starts flamer. with a context, though, like, check out my flamer as he's showing a gun. Not like, uh, you know, I got a flamer at, at the house. <laughs> so, I got a flamer in my pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a flamer in my pants. <laughs> so, you... Got a nice hot flamer just waiting at home yeah, for me. I like to hold my flamer. Can't wait to shoot my it hand. off. Yeah, shoot it off all over some other guy. So... Put this flamer in your mouth. So, uh... That's what I mean. Do they, at one point, someone has, there has to be, at a certain point in history, someone was the first person to say, this is a flame. At least Ice Cube was. At least Ice Cube. We'll just say Ice Cube is the innovator for right now. 
But that's what I mean. No other person had had that context of this means flavor. Yeah. Let alone the masses when you send a song. The right. problem is we don't hang around anybody that would probably use this terminology, so we don't know if it actually is being used. But I would assume if not being used before the song, it is now being used. Maybe. Because a lot of rap lyrics are like that, I would just... Well, a lot of any poetic writing. True, like, yeah. Like Shakespeare, like we said, invented fucking half his fucking words. <laughs> but, now we use them. It's like... <laughs> I, I don't have anything to rhyme with this. Now I'll use something. I'll just, I'll just, make, I'll just make something up. literally make up a word. Yeah. Well, did Shakespeare fucking tell people what they meant? Or did you just have to... I, I wonder, though, if him making up a word was it was a slang word that you, we just haven't seen written anywhere else except in Shakespeare. Well, you know what I mean? That, that feels like that has probably happened a lot with Shakespeare, that they say he made up words. But by make up, he... There was probably well, slang terms. Wasn't even a person either, so. Yeah, there's good proof that that's not true. Well. But he could have made up, not made up the words and just used slang. Could have oh, happened, or he could have been the Ice Cube of his time, making up words and then people started using them. Did we not <laughs> say Shakespeare is the Ice Cube of anything? Did you do that? Did we establish that first off? No, no. no yeah. Can we at least say Ice Cube is the Shakespeare? No, time? no, we can't do that either. Eminem really is, though. I would, have to I would say I mean, Eminem we're, is we're the Shakespeare a of his time. Dudes who don't listen to much hip hop, so that's our opinion. But. but, I mean, people that listen to rap, even oh, sure. not our culture, say Eminem is yeah, one of the of best rappers. You can't deny that he's a lyrical genius. Yeah. And he writes all his own shit. And no poetry is really only accepted in rap now. It, which is funny that people, when I tell them like I write poetry or something, they don't. They're like, there will be people that listen to rap music, mm-hmm. and you know they kind of give that look like, are you fucking write poetry? And like, do you not know what like rap means? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's rhythm and poetry. Yeah, it's the whole point. I'm trying to think of another term that has come from because it had to be with like Tupac. I'm sure there was Tupac well, that's what slang I'm that came out. It was also for a gun. Was that? Yeah. Like, you can think of the Eminem song. I was about to say, I don't or know any heater. Song, where they talk about heaters. What about Glock? Where'd the word Glock? Glock? That's the type of gun. Yeah, but where did the word come from? That's, is that a actual yeah, a yeah. brand? A Glock. I, I don't know. I've heard yeah. Glock before, but I, I, I obviously know what Glock is, but I didn't know if it was a brand or... Uh, apparently it is a brand. Yeah. That's why. Glock. That is a cool logo. Glock is a brand, but it's usually referring to the pistol. Yeah, that's... 45, I think. So d- does Glock then make non-pistol? I believe so. So you could have, like, a Glock rifle? Yeah, so that's the quintessential Glock, what you're looking at there. Yeah. I know that's, like, your 9mm, your your typical... Uh, but I'm curious if they actually do make uh, rifles, or if they're just strictly a, a pistol company. I don't know. I mean, oh, what are they known for? Like yeah, exactly, that's true. I only see pistols. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just, they stick with their brand. Also, in this song, just so everybody knows, um, Ice Cube does want to have Topanga. He wants to have Topanga? Yeah. Owner. Huh? The chick, Topanga? Topanga? The what, actress? Boy Meets World? Yeah. What? I'm What's the lyric? That's the, I'm a nigga mm-hmm. that want to own Topanga. He wants to own Topanga. And Lyric Genius confirms that he is speaking about hmm. the girl, Topanga. I I believe by own, he does not mean put into slavery. Oh, well, of course. <laughs> I, think, I think Topanga was just a cool word that happened to be that girl's name. Or other way around. You know what I mean? No, I mean, there's a lot of people I talk with that talk about Topanga. It is a really weird thing that she's like a really hot chick. Is it like a ghetto meme? Maybe this is another Ice Cube thing. A ghetto meme. Oh, <laughs> shit. Uh, it means either A, that he has, has such a sexual appetite that he wants to fuck the entire female population of Topanga, California, oh. or that he wants to get it on with Daniel Fischel from Bowling like Show. Yeah, I think he's just, he's he's so good, he, it's both. I think he's getting some deep cuts in there. Man, this song just gets more complicated. G4, what's G4? G4. Ice Cube flaunts his private jet yeah. to make his haters envious. The word 
Fuel also brings to mind the cost of jet yeah, fuel for the underscoring his wealth. A little something to fill your niggas ain't good. Hmm. The swine. I'm your face rearranger. I, like I don't think we have to get into that. Better change your face for ice cream changes for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only one line I don't like in this, just because it came out in 2006, and he's talking about a CD changer. Oh, oh yeah, well. Back then. That, dude, that's ten years ago. When did the iPad come out? Or that's I? ten years ago. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You're right. We're old and Holy shit, that was ten years ago. We're old men. We are old. I've been 30. <laughs> Do you, have you ever used a CD in, like... In my life? Like, in the past, let's say six oh, months, God, year, no, two no. years? It's had to be a long time since I've ever used the CD. Like, I don't even know why laptops come with CD drives. They almost seem antiquated at this point. They're going to be, sure. But some people and some systems like to have that physical thing. It's, mm -hmm. Even if it's a placebo at this point, which I think it might be, because you can segregate your In device. case they need a CD. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, for reboot disks, boot drives. Uh-huh. But those are on USB files That's now. That's what I'm saying. I think people see it as a... Placebo, they, like this is a think, physical thing, and somehow that's going to physically add a thing, even though you're just reading digitally off the spinning. Yeah, CD. I get what you're saying, but it, it CDs have gone the way of the floppy disk at this point. They're they're yeah, useless. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, they're going. To. You don't think so? They're going to. Sure. You just said you haven't used one in like two years. I haven't used one in probably longer yeah, than two years. Yeah, but if you go buy a program right now, we're probably going to CD. You can buy video games still. Like, yeah, but do you, do you ever do that, or do you just buy them on Steam? No, I just buy them on Steam. But <laughs> what I'm saying is that they're not, so so far they're it's not, not adding up. Yet. The the only time I actually use a digital disc would be for we platform are, games. We are power users of PCs. We know ins and outs. So we can do shit on our own. Mom and Dad don't do that. Mom and Dad will still buy CD. But, uh, uh, yeah, you're probably right, but. Uh, I mean, like buying. Who even buys a computer program in a store? Oh, that have you have to be old to be doing that. Do they even sell? I haven't been yeah. to like a Best Buy to see oh, if they sell. Oh, you can still buy operating systems and shit. You can go buy Windows if you want. And it would come in CDs. Mm -hmm. It's so old and busted. Mm -hmm. You just go on the internet. I mean, the greatest thing Internet Explorer is for is downloading Chrome. It's its number one use. Absolutely. And then it, the statistics are all fucked up because when you like look at the statistics of the most used browsers, Internet Explorer I think is still number one. Oh, it's well. just simply for the fact that it, Comes it yeah, it's default. This is the one everyone has to use at some point. I've opened it once to download. Yeah. Whatever it is. Mm. Anyways, back to the slang though. Because we get the ghetto slang if somebody uses it in a song mm -hmm. and we start to use it. But I what about in just general right. what population? What I can see in a song is that you put a song like that on YouTube and he could literally be holding a gun while saying the word uh, flank. Yeah. I can make that association. Oh, he's talking about his gun. But what you're saying is how do you get it in? Uh, yeah, just... Well, like I, I said, this is a famous person saying it, so if everybody likes that slang yeah. term, they're just going to start using it. Yeah. But if it's some random guy on the street that starts using a slang term, how's that get, like, how's that spread amongst people? I, I don't know. Maybe as a joke at first? <laughs> like, let's say this is back in the 80s and Ice Cube has his gun and he says, this is my flamer. And like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, yeah, that's a flamer. And I was like, yeah, it's a flamer. And then he goes to another part of town. He's like, oh, he's talking about his flamer, his gun. And someone thought that was cool. And so, they like, just started, like, too, actually talking. Slowly spreads. Then somebody starts Flamer Gun Company. Sure. <laughs> Flamers are us. I think that's where I work. <laughs> you, might, you might work there. But I, I am curious, because language is such an interesting thing that can evolve like that. Mm -hmm. And people... That's why I hate when people nitpick language too much. When somebody misuses a term, some of the words we use today are they came about because people misused another term. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like that happens all the time. Yeah. Like, there, there's a point, I'm, like, I'm notoriously an honorable group of friends, a Gramer Nazi, just mainly for the walls at this point, but 
like Brandon's my best target because he's horrible at spelling uh -huh. and punctuation and grammar, so I always just crack him on Like every now and then I'll throw out like a brong on accident and I'll be like, did I just really say brong? <laughs> yeah, like, oh god, people say Balton or, uh, uh, Ball, yeah. uh, we always said, they always said it all the time. But Brandon would say shit like, oh, I'm sorry to say his name, but he would say shit like Skype. Oh, like Scythe? The long thing that you... Yeah. Have well, harvest back then, it. that's just like we didn't really know how to but say you it, maybe. You read a book. Read Not a really. Book. If you read a book, dictionary you have to hear it. You have to hear it. You go get a dictionary. Yeah, but how often do people... Read nerds like... Oh, okay, you may have. Yeah. But... Because there's plenty of words like that where growing up, I thought it was pronounced one way until somebody else pronounced it another way, and I looked it up and go, oh, okay, so this is right, or... I'm right, or so on and so forth. Scythe was one of those, and um, a lot of D&D &D terms were like that, now that I think about it. Magic terms. Pesuito dragon? Yeah, so <laughs> Pesuito dragon? Yeah, that's definitely one that probably happened. I fucking had a brain eater or someone heard that. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a Pesuito dragon. Like, what the fuck is a Pesuito dragon? <laughs> Open it up. You mean pseudo dragon? Is it not quite a dragon? Oh gosh, Scythe. We actually just played a game called Scythe, but that is a tough word. If you look at Scythe, and you like you're reading a book, there's probably words I still have in my head that I don't know how to pronounce correctly, just because I've only seen them in print. If you never hear them, you don't know. And you might think you know how to pronounce it, though. Like, why look it up if you think like okay, this is probably pronounced that way. Like, you might not look up Scythe because you oh Scythe. I can't even say it wrong. Sk <laughs> Skype. Skype. Like Skype, but Skype. Skype. Okay. Yeah, that that seems pretty easy to pronounce, like Skype. I don't know. Whenever I say Skype, I just feel dirty. Like, it, sh it should feel wrong to say it like that. But I could see saying that word that way and not thinking you're well, wrong. Well, okay. Here's interesting. I'm wondering if it can, can be pronounced that way. When I was reading Harry Potter... Uh huh. The third book, there's a professor, Professor Lupin. L U P I N. I thought it was Lupin, like a French word. Mm -hmm. So I've always read it, Lupin, and this is yeah. before the movie came out. So then the movie came out, and they said Professor Lupin. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> kind of fucks me up a little bit. Yeah, but you thought you had it right. But that's a name. Time. So names, names are always tough. Uh, coincidentally, or well, not coincidentally, I guess, interestingly, uh, Baltimore. Isn't supposed to be Voldemort. It's supposed to be French. It's supposed to be Voldemort. Voldemort. I, th I thought it was Voldemort. Voldemort. I, well, it is supposed to be Voldemort, but no one pronounced it that way in the movies. They can say Voldemort. Did they say Voldemort in mm -hmm. the movies? They say Voldemort. Oh. Instead of Voldemort. I thought it was Voldemort, so I didn't realize. <coughs> um, uh, Hermione. I always, when I like read that book, you didn't I would. Say Hermione, did you? I Hermione. I would have known how to pronounce it, but I. Had, Watch the movies before yeah, oh, reading okay. the book, so I would I knew how to pronounce it. But looking at the name, it's like, how the fuck do you get Hermione? <laughs> uh, um, uh, Jekyll and Hyde, Doctor Jekyll and Mr Hyde. Mm -hmm. The actual way you're supposed to say it is Jekyll, <laughs> Jekyll and Hyde. That's really? how. Uh, That's how he meant it. Stevenson's meant to say it was Jekyll, but no one ever did really say Jekyll. So yeah, so like sometimes people just take over your. Your own work. But, uh, but when you're talking about names, it's like, well, yeah. like... Well, that's art in general. Once, yeah. when it's, once it's out of your hands, it's not yours anymore. That's true. George Lucas. That's... <laughs> God damn. The... What is the new one coming out? One... Rogue, Rogue one? one? Mm -hmm. That looks awesome. Yeah, it looked really good. When's it actually come out? Uh, next year, probably, because episode seven just came out this year. Was that this year? Mm -hmm. It was earlier this year. Was that like January or something? Because that had to, did not seem like that was this year. It was earlier in the year. Jesus. I want to see Sausage Party. Have you heard good things about that yet? I heard... Mixed reviews? I heard it wasn't what you think it is. Like, because to me it looked really fucking stupid, but it, it actually is smart from what I've heard. But mm -hmm. also like over the top and shocking and gratuitous, so... Even that sounds like it's both then. So it has maybe a smarter I like a plot. Ten minute orgy scene and all of this shit. They pull a uh, Team America. Yeah. I don't know. I'm 
I'm really excited just to see a rated R Pixar style movie. Well, I'm curious. And I think they should have gone all out too. I don't even think they should have stopped. Like somebody said, they had to delete a couple of scenes to make sure it wasn't NC-17. Mm-hmm. Fuck it, do NC-17. Stop. Theaters don't carry NC-17. Oh, they don't even carry them. Oh, that's the problem. Fuck that. People just need to start doing Netflix. Well, eventually that's going to happen where people just do online. I didn't realize it was that bad where the theaters wouldn't even pick it up. That's fucked. Oh, speaking of it, you know the word knight? Like a knight in shining armor? Is that actually supposed to be knight? Knight. (laughs) (laughs) What did you just say to me? It's the original pronunciation of the word knight. Well, is that like the Middle English pronunciation? Yeah, Middle English is all screwed up. I don't know where Knight came from. And, uh, have you ever looked at, like, the Shakespeare signatures and all that stuff? Mm-hmm. And, like, he, back in the day, you, you didn't have one way to sign your name. Like, mm-hmm. there's ten or plus different Shakespeare signatures, and so it's really hard to decipher, like, what's yeah. actually his. And they use, like, just in the Declaration of Independence, like... S's for, what is it, like T's or something? Like, they use S's for different letters. It's really well, confusing. What's interesting or about, F's, that's what it's for. What's interesting about Shakespeare is that we've been pronouncing pretty much everything wrong, too. Obviously, the pronunciation's way different. Yeah. But I've seen original pronunciation, like, plays, like, documentaries about it, and it actually changes words, meanings, and everything, and rhyme schemes when you pronounce it the original intended way. Oh, I could see that. Yeah, there's completely. like a sing songiness to it, and different words change depending on how you pronounce it. They have double meanings. It probably around. follows his the rhythm a lot better mm-hmm. too. Yep. that's interesting. Because, oh, yeah. well, I mean, sometimes when you read like his the sonnets and stuff, their rhymes don't they're like seem like near rhymes, mm-hmm. but back in his time, they probably were. They probably were. Rhymes. And you got to think that in your head, like these probably did rhyme <laughs> back then. Yeah. Um, I don't know, language is so intriguing that way. I wish I learned more languages as a child. Because that's the best time to learn a language. Yeah, so yeah. I learned some Spanish, but it really never grabbed me. Yeah. The, the, the problem is the school system doesn't really try to get you interested in well, learning. Yeah, definitely not America. Yeah, so... I was never interested in Spanish until college when the person actually, like, made it interesting. Yeah. Okay, let's go to a restaurant and you got to order your food in Spanish. Or let's have a political debate, but you have to speak Spanish. <laughs> it was, like, interesting stuff like that where, like, you're passionate about a political debate, but, like, if you don't speak Spanish, you she will cut you off. Like, yeah. you're not speaking Spanish. Like, that's the way to get people to actually learn the oh, language. Sure. Whereas in high school, what did we do? It's like, here's these worksheets. Yeah. Do this work. And here's what I did. Oh, uh, hey, Cody, can I copy your paperwork? <laughs> hey, whoever else was in my class. Like, I I really didn't try hard in, in school. Yeah. Somewhat regret that. Yeah. But well, yeah. They didn't challenge me. But, I mean, okay. There's a double-edged thing here where... You could say, oh, they didn't challenge me, but that could be a false dichotomy. Yeah, the comedy where you're like, they didn't challenge me, but I wasn't trying. You mean a false dichotomy? Dichotomy? Yeah, I never tried. Yeah. So, hold on, maybe nothing's false. <laughs> because our English teacher pronounced the word leprechaun with a straight face. Let <laughs> me correct her. Our English teacher. Our English teacher. So, anyway, what I was saying is that you could you could be saying they're not challenging me enough, but maybe you're not pushing yourself enough. It's probably both. Because they're not pushing you enough. You know, yeah. It's one of those cyclical things, but, yeah, it's probably a little common. It's, it's certainly, little certainly common. some of my Because when I went to culinary school, um, I felt the same way in high school. Because most of it was high school kids. Mm-hmm. There were some kids my age, some people older. So you start to realize that you really only get out of it what you put into it. So if you just do the bare bones system they have there, you'll learn nothing. Yeah. But if you take the effort and like talk to the chefs and like 
I want to learn this, I want to do that, why does this do that, blah, blah, blah. I've learned so much more than mm-hmm. the type of person I've learned there. And also, I, I think you have to be somewhat passionate, though, oh, about it. And the more well, you're... that's a specialty school. Yeah, and the more you're challenged into something, I think you do become yeah. more passionate about something. Like, my history classes were awful. I learned no history yeah. at all. And then... Listening to Darren Carlin's Hardcore History once, I was like, holy shit, like, mm-hmm. history is very interesting when it's put the right oh, yeah. way, and now I'm very passionate about history. Well, we had one good teacher, Mrs. Zimmerman. He's a good teacher. Yeah, Zimmerman was good. But that's what I'm saying, like, you have one good teacher. Zerker, I'm er, sorry, Mrs. Zerker. Yeah, the Einstein looking yeah, guy, Zerker. Zerker. Which one was Zimmerman? He was the bigger, he was old, he was in middle school, I'm sorry, he was in middle school. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah Zerker. Yeah, Zerker. Zerker was in high school. Zerker was a good teacher. That's that's the problem. Like in high school, you have like your two or three really good teachers, and that's it. Out of how many teachers you end up seeing, so let's see. You do like three classes. Uh, what do we do? Semesters? I don't fucking remember. I don't know. Say thirty teachers <laughs> that you go through in high school. That's not a very good percentage to have about three good ones. We we're actually just talking about this at work because the guy I was talking about was talking how he loved his class and loved his school and he had really good teachers and um but then he was like I was in at a like a suburban white nice neighborhood type place. Well, we were We were a step below that, yeah. but it's still a step above a ghetto. Yeah, we weren't school. like inner city. But yeah. We were a bunch of hicks and right now we had a tractor day. <laughs> Finger tractor to school you day. Get, yeah, you could get days <laughs> off for hunting. I wish I would have taken advantage of that. I kind of wish I did hunting. Now, because I kind of wanted to try hunting now. Have you ever hunted before? I've never, never done it. I've shot guns. Never. Yeah, I've shot guns, but I've never gone hunting. I've only shot guns a couple times. Yeah. Shot a Glock, to be specific, actually. <laughs> yeah, my full fist. Flamer. Big flamer. <laughs> you are big flamer. Just doesn't sound right for a rapper to say I'm shooting some uh, flamers. I think it's more sound, doesn't sound right when we say it because we're not rappers. <laughs> <laughs> we just say flamer. We we can't say flamer without yeah. in the cool way that Ice Cube, Ice Cube can say flamer. The Shakespeare cool. <laughs> the Shakespeare the ghetto. Yeah. That would probably be Tupac. I'm not a big Tupac fan. Actually, t- what? I'm not a big Tupac. How dare you? Fan. Tupac actually was like a big student with Shakespeare. Slightly overrated in my opinion. How dare you? I'm sorry about it. Like what what? Don't you like about him? Like his lyrics? His, what kind of his, is that? What don't you like about him? Like, what do you. Well, do you not like the rhythms in his songs or the lyrics he chooses? I just think. Or have you even I've searched to, out his music? I've searched much? out some Tupac Because there's certainly some Tupac songs I don't like. There's, In fact, one of his best CDs is the one that Eminem made. Well, yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. I, I just. I don't get the same giddiness. Like, People who love Tupac, it's like almost Beatles levels of fame. Yeah. Yeah, like people love Tupac. I'm like, I don't see it. I don't get it. I get the Beatles love. I can see that. Mm-hmm. But people go nuts over Tupac. Same Biggie, too, I would say. Yeah, I never really got into Biggie. See, I like Biggie better than Tupac. This is a I think, I think it's like an Elvis. Is this an Elvis yeah, Beatles, Elvis thing? Beatles oh, thing? Oh, shit. Yeah. We just found the ghetto Elvis Beatles. Yeah, my dad was an Elvis man. He didn't like the Beatles that much. So maybe the people that lean more towards Beatles are more Tupac fans. Maybe. I mean the. I like Elvis better than Beatles too. The Biggie songs I've heard, I like. I just. He doesn't. His sound isn't as good as Tupac's, in my opinion. I like the way Tupac raps <laughs> more than Biggie. I like the. I'm huge Wu Tang. Wu Tang's always good. I love Wu-Tang. But then again, you have like nine people. <laughs> What's just their style, their yeah. rhythm, their. They're the very intelligent white rappers, they too. Have, oh, they're super smart. They have so many different rhythms and styles coming into it. Yeah. yeah. Did you ever see the graph on Reddit or whatever that shows the vocabulary of rappers? Yeah. Like, compares them? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I want to look at that because now I'm curious where, like, Big and all of them fall. Well, today you have uh, people like Kendrick Lamar. He's a really smart rapper. Rappers. But you also saw dickheads like Lil Wayne. I hate Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, like, the problem is he, every now and then, says something that's really good. 
And then so people are like, anytime you say he says the dumbest shit, they point to like the one good lyric he has. Tell the funky homo sapiens one of my favorites. Also, just no, now he's a very like smart style rapper. Um, most deaf. Most deaf. I never really listened to most deaf, but like what I've heard um, of him is really good. He went batshit crazy. He's all like Muslim and like he went full Cat Stevens with it now. He's so Muslim. He listen to his like older stuff. Really. So what they did is took rap genius and they took. Let's see. I'm trying to think of. They took. Each artist's first 35,000 lyrics. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. Um, and compared the vocabularies. Wu-Tang's like dead middle. That's that style? Oh, no, no, no. They're not. They're dead middle of all the smarter no, ones. Zoom in. Yeah, that was a zoom in of it. Who's this down here? So who's the genius over here with? Uh, Aesop Rock. Oh, Never Aesop. heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know Aesop. Who we got here? So, of the top rappers, we got Aesop Rock, Jizza, Redman, Rizza. Well, they're part of the Wu-Tang. Yeah, right? I was about to say, they're all Wu-Tang. <laughs> like, Wu-Tang's owning. Sage Francis, I don't know. Cool Keith. Del the Funky Home Sabian, there That's he is. Smart dude. Yeah, well, I knew he was a smart rapper. He is Ice Cube's cousin or nephew or something? I don't really? Know. He's related to Ice Cube in some way. Immortal Technique, I listened to him. He's actually really good. Yeah. Who are the dumbest ones? I want to see the dumbest ones. That's a good question. Who are I who are I've, the dumb ones? I think DMX. I, see, <laughs> <laughs> I think I see Drake's stupid face. I can't. Here. This is useless Here, to not be. Control. Now it's, uh, roll in your mouse. Oh, what the fuck was that noise? It's doing oh, the background shit. instead of the picture. Oh, maybe we just do it here. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's gonna give us names very well though. Wow. Is that Coolio right there? Who else would that be? Coolio's actually... I can't tell who that guy is. It, it doesn't it look like DMX. I'm going to assume it's DMX. Uh, Let's see. Really? Oh, well, sure, where is he at? Yeah, he, I mean, he's in a little below the average. <laughs> but he does appeal to a lot of people, so... But... This was also their, what? You said first first? 35,000. That's... Ever... And their first LP, you know what I mean? Because he, he was pretty dumb back in the day. I don't know about that. Decided. Uh, um, 35 covers three to five studio albums and EPs. Because his earlier was pretty dumb. So that's a lot, though. That's yeah. His EPs probably weren't helping him, yeah. but his first two LPs would be his, some of his best stuff then. Yeah. But he's not known for necessarily having a big vocabulary. It's the way he puts the words together. Yeah. Well, his rhyme scheme is what makes him out of yeah. this world. That is very true. He somehow... Rhymes like seven words together in two. Well, he has the two lines. The fearful symmetry in his word in his. What's uh, that? Fearful symmetry is when A B C C B A. A B C C C B A. Yep. And then he'll in one verse he'll have two different rhymes. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. that's what I'm saying. Is he's just? I think that is DMX is the lowest. Yeah. That's definitely DMX. I wonder if they counted the different wolves. <laughs> the, varying, the various marks. The wolf was the mark. You could argue that. He's the deepest dog rapper of all time. You never know. Uh, look, there's a Him and the Baja, man. Shaggy 2 Dope right there. Oh, He's good. actually only so just below line, average. Here's one where you stop listening to rap. No. Yeah. Just because you, your vocabulary isn't high doesn't mean... Like, Snoop Dogg's in there. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you're below Faggy Too Dope, you're done. Faggy Too Dope? I wonder if that's ICP or just... Yeah. Uh, it'd have to be ICP. I don't think he does any solo stuff. Is that Ice Cube right there? Look at him. Hey. Uh, maybe that's Ice Cube. I'm not, I can't really tell. No, that's Ice Cube right there. No, that's uh, Exhibit... Oh, man, they all look the same. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, 
I thought Nicki would be higher. She has some cool stuff. I, she, Nicki Minaj, how dare you? Dude, she's a good rapper. I heard some of the worst stuff from her. Yeah, I've heard some of the best stuff from her. Kara! She's probably changing. Get some clothes on. I can't think of the word. No. What the hell is that Nick, Nicki Minaj line? That is fucking retarded. What, are you, what it, you did it on him? Yeah, Put well, you did it on him. Well, you did it on him. Yes, I get it. Well, you did it on him. You shit it on him. She has some stupid shit. Yeah, exactly. Well, she has some good shit, too. About Does that count trees, in your one, vocabulary if you make shit up? one line about trees. I'm sure there are multiple lines about trees. <laughs> yeah, that's probably about true. Weed. What's that song, Did It On Him? Did It On Him. Is that literally, is, is that seriously the name of the song? Yeah. How do you spell did it? Did it on M. I thought it was like a word combining all those. You did it on him. It is when it comes out of her face. Yeah, it sounds like did it on him. Like D D I D D E N. Yeah, well, look how fucking hot she is. That counts, right? That counts for something. So you're saying this person, this clever rapper, with her lyrics is sh- shit it on them. Man, I just shit it on them. Shit it on them. Put your numbers twos in the airs if that's you did clever. it on them. Number twos in the air. That's clever. Come on. How is that clever? Because shit it on them number and number two? twos. Yeah. That's a, that is oh, very come on. lowbrow, <laughs> but somehow I'll, elevated. By all right. You know twos. what? I'll give you that Thank one. Thank you. But all these bitches is my sons. Mm-hmm. But and I'm gonna go. And I'm gonna go get some bibs for him. Yeah. <laughs> a couple of formulas, little pretty lids on them. I don't get that. If I had a dick, I would pull it out and piss on them. Mm-hmm. Let me shake it off. Yeah. <laughs> I get what she's going. I just signed a couple of deals. I may break you off. Fuck you. And we ain't making up. I don't need a mediator. Just let them bums. Blow steam radiator. That's not clever at all. That's just throwing in another fucking word. <laughs> no, but them buns blow steam. Like yeah, but shit. it's not clever to just say that radiator. Another thing that blows steam. The the number right. twos in the air actually makes sense because you're going with the shit it on them and putting the peace sign in the air. Radiator just throwing out like also radiator still <laughs> blow steam. That's one problem I have with New Age rap is they do that a lot, where they're like, let me do this like a radiator. Let me blow steam like a radiator. Like, it's like, that's not really clever when you're just throwing out things that do the same thing you're doing. <laughs> you got, that's a lot. You picked a bad example, all right? It, <laughs> you can't, this is like one of her number one hits. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't. I'm sorry. All these bitches is my sons, and I ain't talking hey, about Phoenix. I some Beatles songs with them dumbass lyrics in it too. Beatles do have some bad lyrics. Yeah. I'll give you their first album. I'll say it has some of the worst lyrics. They're very, very simple lyrics. They're not retarded though. <laughs> I mean, they're just like I want to hold your hand. They were very '50s style or '60s style like. Let's keep it simple, but their next albums. No, I don't think so. Was it? It was on Ed Sullivan and shit. Was it 50s, was it 50s for the their first were album? 50s, 60s, 70s. Beatles' first album. I thought it was like early 60s. Have Beatles. you seen. My you've Bonnie. Seen, uh, I'm not talking about that. Please, please me. You've seen uh, Across the Universe, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Long time ago. Fantastic. 63, sir. Really? Oh, please, okay. please me. Their debut studio album. So they had an album before that, which would yeah, be their EP. But yeah, like their first album, eh, you know, it's not going to be the most, just because of their style of music that they started with was completely different than what they became. Which is also why it's uh, the Beatles are so neat. Is because they're one of those first band you gotta see evolve as a band I don't really know anybody else before them this that was like around the more, same time though that's what I'm saying who's more two faced on Elvis like in terms of evolution now, Elvis was definitely before the Beatles he went what did he go like country to like well, rock he had his uh, rock style hip swinging gyrating 
Mm -hmm. Then he got all fat. Then he got Vegas Elvis. He was all fat and gospel singing. He did gospel yeah, back then. I didn't know that. I don't. I don't find. I don't follow Elvis because I don't like his style of music that much. But yeah, they're definitely. I mean, those are the two everyone goes to. That's why you're either an Elvis person or a Beatles person because those were the two big last? ones that evolved. How long will that idiom last? Because eventually, no one's gonna give a fuck about Elvis or the Beatles. I don't think so. Really? I don't think so. Evergreen? Yeah, I think so. Isn't Beethoven evergreen? Yeah. No one ever says, hey, are you a Beethoven or Mozart fan? Why not? But we all know who Beethoven and Mozart are. They're so evergreen, why aren't we? And Mozart and Beethoven are still um, common words. Like, I'm trying to think. There are idioms using Beethoven and Mozart, but for some reason I can't think of any. Like, I'm trying to... There's... There... Okay, the idiom might not last forever, but the Beatles and Elvis, as being known, will be evergreen. I think you'll agree with that, at least. Like, how long w would it take for you not to know Beethoven and Mozart? I mean, how many years has it been? Like, 400? What are they, 1600s? Right? That's really not that long, considering how long humanity's been around. Yeah... But it is pretty long to like be remembered as something. I think that's just because of how our record keepings are. Yeah, Maybe that's it was true. A better Beethoven hundred years before him, but we just didn't know. Yeah, but we don't like people don't think of Bach think as much. Well, you do, Chopin. but but if you ask the average, Chopin. yeah, people aren't going to know Chopin and Bach as much as they're going to know Beethoven, and Mozart, because that's why they talk about them. Lupin was Lupin because Chopin is. Uh, that's the other thing is pop culture continues to make references and jokes to the like Beethoven and Mozart and the Beatles and Elvis as long as pop culture continues to do that people will continue oh, to know. know who they are none of them ever did it on them you're a girl get out of here did it on them just did it on them none of them ever did it on them so, uh, maybe they did do it on guess them guess who's not going to be remembered 400 years from now, Nicki Minaj with, did it on him. You know, you, are you going to live for 400 years? Yeah. <laughs> is this I'm your point? <laughs> I don't even think she's like... Are you kidding me? I mean, I'm not saying she's ugly, but she's not like, oh my god. Let's see, I, I just... Are you shitting she me? looks like a weird Barbie doll thing in these pictures. I can't really... Judge from that. I, um, I would get lost in that thing. You'd have to come. These these yeah. images are are kind of tough because like they. You remember those Chilean miners that got lost in there for like. <laughs> there would be like a celebration when they come out and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's hard to tell because these pictures. Go back and forth between extremely ugly and extremely hot. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of it. It's like a roller coaster. You don't know. Which, you don't know which Nicki Minaj you're gonna get. That's the beauty. What if you get the scary Nicki Minaj? Woo! Sign me up. Oh, oh buddy, going balls deep. Mm -hmm. Like, look at that one. You don't want that Nicki Minaj. You don't want that. Kind of do. It's just like a Whitney Houston thing going on there. Nick, let me just type in Nicki Minaj because I've did it on him still. I'll do it on her. <laughs> Oh, these are much better. Absolutely. Now I agree with you. Look, she has like the natural beauty and then the weird fucked up... Uh, and then uh, I wouldn't stick it in her beauty. Yeah, you would. Okay, I probably would. Yeah. Okay. You, you got me there. Let's stick my, my dick in so deep, whoever pulled it out would be the next King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Is the name of your dick Excalibur? <laughs> it should be. Yeah. It should be. Speaking of dicks... <laughs> I got. I'll fucking take my dick and put it on his shoulder. I don't need. I hear my company. Um, the original subject for the podcast I had before we got completely wrecked with uh, slang terms was the new style of peeing I have. <laughs> oh, under the, under the yeah. bridge? Yeah. Or over the fence? It's more like sneaking it out. I don't know. <laughs> it's the the troll under the ring. <laughs> so like, 
I would guess most people, or most men, do the style where you pull the pants down, you tuck the elastic or whatever you have, the underwear, under, right under into the gooch area, yeah. so the balls and the dick are hanging and you pee that way. Yeah. Nice to me, that's uncomfortable. Like, it's yeah, constantly nice squeezing right on the balls. It's well, just no, the trick is you have to, if you're wearing, like, elastic shorts, you loosen it up under the gooch a little bit, right? No, I don't get what you mean, loosen it up under the gooch. Because they're elastic. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's so, no loosening. Yeah, you can take your thumb and give some slack to it. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Do you need me to show you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. so you I've it. never done this slack trick because then I need my... My fingers to hold the dick. You need one, one on your dick, one. With one, one with the pull. Yeah. It's getting too so complicated. Finish, and then you let the elastic come back up, and you do the gooch pump. To to get rid of the. Yeah, it's, uh, it's the like pants. Pump. The okay. Okay, so my style is this only works with shorts and not in public places because you don't want to look like a fucktard. <laughs> Just like you don't want to pu- do the. I guess that's the other way is you can do the kids one where you just drop the pants full oh, full down, have the ass show, and then pee. Mm-hmm. My new style is you lift up one pant leg and you just poke out that pant leg. You don't really, there's no effort involved in that. Like, all you have to do is just pull it right out. What are you, a dog? <laughs> <laughs> it's, dude, it's so comfy, though. You have something to separate us from the animals. Why is th- dogs aren't doing that? Like I'm not lifting my leg. Hey, I'm just the lifting the pant leg. I'd be afraid of like a deep, so you hold. It leg. actually is more accurate in my you opinion. I have still? more free. So you have one hand pulling the short. One, one hand to pull, one hand hold. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I thought of there's the other way that I did for a while too. That is is nice, but it only works if you have you have to have both a zipper and then. Underwear with the the hole okay. that you can sneak out of. So obviously you pull the zipper down and sneak out of there. Yeah. And there you just have you do, you only have the dick hanging. Well, that's out. the quickie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever had sex that way? It's amazing. <laughs> the quickie. Mm-hmm. But the the pants method by far is the best. You, you need to try it. Mm-hmm. it. The problem is it only works with shorts. I wear shorts constantly. I'm wearing jeans now because it's the only things I. Have. So, like, if you're in California, the, the two dozen listeners we have, no, yes, question? I'm just speaking as your roommate, but peeing that way gets piss all over the floor. So <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen either way. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem, not a... Problem. I think girls don't realize, like, some... I think you're just jealous because you can't pee wherever you want. Comfortably. Says you. Comfortably. Says you. Well, do you have one of those little urinal things yeah, that lets girls... Yeah, that you... The hose? Yeah, yeah. that you can stand up. Yeah. Does it make you feel like, uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> does it make you feel liberated? <laughs> I think girls don't understand the, the complexities involved in the stand-up pee, where... Drippage may happen, but oh, we don't even know about it. Like, uh, yeah. your starting piss, it might drip just because of the yes. starting flow. So the gooch pump there comes up. The and amount of pee the on flow that might floor happen. is not from drippage. <laughs> it's... <laughs> if I literally pee on the floor, I would clean it up. So it obviously is. <laughs> I'm not just literally just... You know, I'm, I feel like peeing on this floor today. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> me. Clean it up! <laughs> Write your name and piss. <laughs> No, I'd write my name. Don't oh. be outrageous. <laughs> you write somebody else's name in piss. That doesn't even make any sense. What is happening? Anyways, I just figured since the podcast has talked about the proper way to poop, we'd have to we'd have to discuss the proper way to pee. Oh sure. By the way, have you done the squatty potty method yet? Yeah, you have a squatty potty. But have you like? Do you embrace the squatty potty method? I use the squatty potty whenever I'm here. But you haven't bought your own. No, I'm not uh, converting to your cult or anything like that. You should. You should. <laughs> uh, you should. I love cannon. I have some Kool Aid in the fridge. You want some? <laughs> I don't want to do that because if I fully assimilate myself into the squatty potty uh, family, uh-huh. then when I go out in public, there are, there are no squatty potties. Am I going to take one with me? I, I agree it sucks when I go out in public, but it just means you have to go back to the old way. solution. What? You just hike your legs up on either side of the, the toilet. You do the gargoyle? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It might not work for everybody. 
I just have enough food because my butt's so tiny. <laughs> the gargle. <laughs> That's how I want to poop all the time now. I wish we had uh, like foreign countries where they have the flat toilet. The bidet. Well, the bidet is just something that shoots water in your That's butthole. Yeah, I wish we had bidets. If if you don't, people, if you don't use wet wipes, you need to. Use wet wipes. Those are so great. I hate it so much when we're out or I have to use a public restroom. It really feels like I'm just like sh- taking like something like sandpaper against my asshole. Mm, builds character. It builds something. You don't want your bo- butthole all... builds hemorrhoids. If, are hemorrhoids character? <laughs> That's what it builds. It should be going asteroids. <laughs> It should. The classic. Classic joke. Anyway, so that's just the uh, public service announcement. Yeah. The different ways you can pee. Uh, apparently, it gets all over the floor. <laughs> but that's maybe you're pissing on the floor. The yeah. Do you ever think about that? Oh if you're a man. You should pee sitting down. Then nothing gets on the floor. We are men. Exactly. You can have a sit down. Did you just hear what you said. <laughs> you can have a sit down wee when you're drunk. Oh, when you're pooping. You just push it in. Yeah. And also, there's like splashback. <laughs> Have you not heard of splashback? Have you seen a penis? Yeah, I've heard of splashback. I sit down when I pee. Yeah. yeah. Well, think if your parts dangled closer to the water. Your dangle dits. Yeah. <laughs> sit down and pee. Down. <laughs> That's outrageous. Do do it. Drunk. Pooping. Or super tired in the morning, I might do it. Maybe. I might just say, I don't feel like standing. <laughs> This is happening. If I don't turn the light on, absolutely. Yeah, that's that's pass. the other. If for some reason oh, no, no, no. lights aren't on, I've seen you pee standing up with the light off. Come on. Bro. I have. Come on, man. My hands obviously <laughs> impeccable. <laughs> I'll be wherever the hell I want. <laughs> I think that's a. That should be a good spot to end this. They're going to go.